Hi, this is Jason Jiritich, and in this video we're going to see how to make a fully automatic grading system using just Google Spreadsheets and three functions, which would be the if function, the VLOOKUP function, and the import range function. So basically, normal teachers have a spreadsheet that has all the grades on it. And in this sense, for example, they'll have the name of the student, then their grade in math, their grade in English, and their grade in science. So what we want to do is show how we can fill out these columns in an automatic manner with the grades that they have after they complete an exam. So here we're going to go to create and we're going to name this math exam. And here we'll go to tools, we'll go to create a form. And here the first question is going to be full name. Make that text, required, done. We'll duplicate that, put this as secret code to make sure that it's really the student doing the exam. We'll put that as done. Go down here, put the first question in. Make these multiple choices. That's done, and we'll put in two more. Okay, then after we're done making our exam, we're going to save that. After we save it, we'll go live. And here, the first thing that needs to be done is that the professor needs to put in the correct answers. So, we'll choose. And he submits that so that we have a list of correct answers. As you can see here, the timestamp comes out telling me when the person did it. Comes out as professor, his secret code, and then the three correct answers. Now we'll go back and we'll pretend that the other students will now do their exam. In this sense, we're going to take as reference the three names here, but we will not do it in alphabetical order because there's no way of knowing when they will actually do their exams. So we'll start with John Tuck here. And he will get all of these wrong. And we'll go back here and do the next one. And we'll have him get all of them right. And then finally, the last one. We'll have him do only one right. Okay. Now that we have all our answers here, we have to finally grade our exam here and in this case we're going to add a sheet and the first thing we need to do here is to equal this with the first one on B2. We'll press enter and we will extend that down to 20 pretending that there are more students and it fills out that column there. This column is going to be the grading column we have to do it in an automatic manner and we're going to do use a formula for this that's already been pre-done pre-made and we will stick that in here and as you can see it gives me the answer we're going to put this in around that column so that it comes out 10. When I pull this down it's going to give me the rest of the answers. Now how do these answers come out? It's very simple. 
using an if function, meaning that we're saying that if one cell coincides with another cell, it's okay, and we'll give you one point, and if the cell does not coincide with another cell, then you get zero points. In the case, let's just say that John Tuck, he was in D3, so if we go over here and see John Tuck, his answer for D3 was one, but that's not the answer. The answer was two. So in this sense, we're saying if D3 does not coincide with D2, then he gets no points, zero. So that's automatically added up because we're adding those. If you can see the plus signs here, each one is a plus. So if one of his answers does not coincide with the right answer, which we have left absolute here, then he will not get anything, which is zero. And if he does, then he gets one point. After we've done all that, we're multiplying it by a number to get usually a typical classical rating number, which would be 10 or 100. If I put another 3 here, for example, and enter that, then if I go down here, you'll see that, oops, we didn't get modified there. We actually have to do the first one here. Let's say I put 3 here, press enter. Now we're going to have to come out because we're not going to see anything. And you'll see it goes to 100 here. I can pull this one down and these will all go to 100, 0, 133. So this last number is only just to make sure that it goes into a classical grading number. If we have that, the problem is that these are not in alphabetical order, and so this is not going to help us to fill out our grading sheet over here, which is in alphabetical order. Well, it was in alphabetical order. First of all, we're going to have to make it in alphabetical order. Bring this one down here. I'll grab these two. Pull them up. Now we're in order. Okay. So um, these guys have to be filled out in alphabetical order, but they're not here. So how are we going to get this in alphabetical order? Well, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that uh, these names here can be pulled over here because we're going to use our VLOOKUP function to coincide what's over here with over here. So what we're going to do here is what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to pull them over here. Okay. So now we have our three names here in alphabetical order. We don't need the professor in that case. And we're going to use a VLOOKUP here to reference these in relationship to these two columns here. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to go to this column here. We're going to go to formulas. We're going to grab our VLOOKUP here. Come back over here. We're going to put that in here. As you can see, we need a VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP is referencing what? Well, it's not going to be an A3 because here we have John Carter in D3. So we're going to change this to D3 in that sense. Well, no, it's actually going to be D2. We're going to start off on top. So, so now we have D2. And here we have a sheet one, 2. And then we do not want to start with A1. We're actually starting with A2. So we're going to go over here. Actually, we don't, we don't have to worry about that. We can leave it as it is. And here we can leave it as B20, um, stating that the second column is our reference point. And if this not coincide, then we're not going to use it. So we'll leave it just like it is, and we're going to enter that in. And obviously, again, we're going to have to put this as rounded. So what it did was it coincides with John Carter down here. That's the amazing thing with the VLOOKUP function is that we'll grab two columns and say, if column A2 has John Tuck, then column B2 will be 0 and it coincides all of these. So we're going to grab this and pull it down. And as you can see, it gives me now the list in alphabetical order. All of this I'm going to program, obviously, before the kids do the exam. I'm just doing it afterwards so you can see everything physically. So now that we have these two functions set, basically, as we said, we have the if function here working there to give us the grades. And then here will be the second VLOOKUP function here to put the grades in coincidence with the names in alphabetical order. Now that's done. So the last thing we need to do is pull this information into the grading system here so it coincides with the three names here. So how are we going to do that? Well, this is a very special little thing that we're going to use, which is called an import range function. And we're going to grab that dude and we're going to pull him over here. In the grading section here, in the import range function, what it does basically is it will put him down here. Okay, so right now he's trying to load, and he's not going to load because we don't have anything filled out correctly. But what's going to do is going to grab the information that we had in the other spreadsheet, which is over here. 
we want this information here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, we put the import range here, and the first thing we have to do is put the key of the other sheet in here. Now, the key is up here. Here it says key equal to, and it has got this whole thing here. We're going to expand so you guys can see it. Here it says key equal, and what we want is everything after the equal sign before the pound sign. So we're going to grab all of that here and copy that. So we're going to go over here and we're going to stick it in quotation marks here. Make sure you put these over here, these guys here, because if you don't, it's not going to work. So we'll go over here, get this space out of here. Now we have the quotation marks, but we still need the right information. So when you go back over here, we put a comma and then we put the sheet name of the other in the other document and then we immediately put the range here. So we're going to grab that information. So over here, this is sheet number two. So over here, we have to make sure this is sheet two. That works perfectly. But what we want here is simply E2 to E4. So what we're gonna put here is put E2 to E4. So after all of that, we're going to enter it, and as you can see, the grades come out. Once again, we're going to round these dudes, and voila. Now, this will upgrade every minute, meaning it takes one minute. If I change something over here, then it will change after a minute over here, but it won't do it any sooner. So, having all these grades here, we have an automatic way of grading here, and then let's just say that I want to make sure that I know if these guys are um, getting an F or not. So what do I do here? It's very simple. I can make uh, a very quick movement here where I will put a text color and it will say condition formatting. And here it will say text contains. We're gonna put this as a less than and we'll put less than 60 if uh, 60 is an F here. And here we want a background color. We're gonna put it in red, okay? And then we're going to save that rule and as you can see, this goes into to red here. What we're going to want to do here is actually take the whole thing. I don't think that's going to work out very well, so we're going to go over here. Text can change less than, and we'll put here 60. Background red, save rule. And as you can see, these both go into red. So basically, it indicates to us that we have a person who's gotten 100 and two people who have gotten red. If I want to put this in another color, then I can make another rule, grab this column, go over here, conditional formatting, we're going to add another rule here, and we're going to put greater than, and we'll put here 93, put a background as green, save, and now we have color coordination in the grading system that we have here. So as you can see, this is a complete way of doing automatic grading system, uh, doing an automatic grading system within Google Spreadsheets from zero to when we have our exam to how to correct it, and then finally to transport it over to another document with the rest of my grades. I beg forgiveness if this was a bit complicated, but if there's anything else that you guys wish to know about this, please leave it in the commentaries below and I will try to either make another video explaining any detail that wasn't clear, or I will respond to you, yeah, in the, meeting, the same comments. Thank you very much.